Afternoon all, it's Charlie O in the HQ at the 3P game. How are you all? Hope you're having a sophisticated Tuesday filled with highfalutin general knowledge. Are you ready for the weather? They say there's a storm a coming. They're predicting freezing temperatures all down the country. Luckily, nothing warms the cockles of the soul like a good old fashioned trivia app. My grandmother always used to say, Jack Frost hates a hot water bottle, a cup of tea, and 12 increasingly difficult trivia questions. So wise. In case you don't know them, let me catch you up on the rules. 12 questions, 10 seconds to answer each. Answer one right, move on to the next. Answer them all right, and you win money. Real world, spend it at Greg's money. If no one wins, the money rolls over to the next game. Today's prize is 550 pounds. That's a lot of pasties. So get ready, get pumped, get focused. Find a moist towelette to cool your brow because these questions I've got coming at you are real hot ones and I need you to be chill. Grab your friends, grab your mum, grab your dog if he's intelligent and can talk. If so, cool, because it's time to play HQ Trivia. Question number one. Which of these was a popular sitcom of the 80s? Ho de ho, hardy ha, hi de hi. 80s sitcom question. Which of these was a popular sitcom? Ho de ho, hardy ha, hi de hi. I hope you tap correctly or you'll be saying no de no. The camp classic is Heidi Hi. Heidi Hi is the answer to question number one. 29,764 of you got that right. Well done. Set in a holiday camp called Maplins, the title was taken from the greeting used by the camp staff, the yellow coats, to greet customers. Question number two. To be or not to be, that is the question, is a line from which classic play? Hamlet, Cats, Annie. To be or not to be, that is the question. What's it from? Hamlet, Cats or Annie? Q3 or not Q3? Depends on whether you get this one right. Less of a cat, more of a village. It's Hamlet. Hamlet is what I'm looking for here. To the answer to question number two, Hamlet is the correct answer and what we were looking for here. Congratulations if you got that correct. To all the school kids out there, Hamlet is Shakespeare's longest play. So get your sick notes sorted well ahead of time on this one. Question number three. Question number three, coming up. Take this moment to find out if we're 29,526 if you got that question right. I can now see that a lot of you got that right. Well done, you guys knew that one. You know your Shakespeare. Congratulations. Make sure you take this moment to find out if you're following us on Twitter. Hey, but question number three. Which of these footballers has played most recently for Manchester United? Slatan Ibrahimovic, Paul Scholes, Eric Cantona. Manchester United, which one of them was it? Three absolute legends in Manchester and in our chat as well, but who still got fresh memories? It's my third cousin, Slatan Ibrahimovic. 24,358 of you got that right. Well done. Not to be confused with Paul Scholes. Paul Scholes has never actually suited up for Man United. He's pretty rubbish, if we're honest. Question number four. Which of the following is normally celebrated 47 days before Easter Sunday? St. Patrick's Day, Shrove Tuesday, Valentine's Day. Which of these is normally celebrated 47 days before Easter Sunday? Easter Sunday doesn't have a fixed date, yet this day is always 47 days before it. Getting flippin' tasty on a Tuesday, it's Shrove Tuesday. Shrove Tuesday is what I'm looking for here to question number four. 14,325 of you got that right? Well done. It was traditionally the feast day before the fasting of Lent. Sounds like the perfect excuse for guilt-free pancakes to me. Question number five. What is the term for a sequence of numbers which add the two previous numbers? Trigonometry, Fibonacci, Calculus. Mass questions. Mass nerds unite. This is your moment to shine. Are we looking for trigonometry, Fibonacci, Calculus? Almost as famous as the numbers from Lost, at least we know what these ones mean. Sounds like a lie, but it all adds up. It's Fibonacci. Fibonacci is what I was looking for here. The answer to question number five, 10,435 of you got that right. Maths boffins, Leonard Fibonacci also introduced Europe to the decimal system, ditching Roman numerals for numbers zero through nine. Question number six. 
Which of these women is rumoured to be the subject of the pulp song Common People? Nia Vardalos, Tracy Emin, Danae Stratu. Love pulp. Which one of these women is rumoured to be the inspiration for Common People? It has never been confirmed by either party. But it hasn't been denied either. Pulp fact or pulp fiction, it's... Danae Stratu. Danae Stratu is what I was looking there, the answer to question. Number six, 2,671 of you got that correct. Danae is Greek, from a wealthy family and studied at the same art school as pulp frontman Jarvis Cocker. Quite the coincidence, eh? That's cool. Question number seven. Which of the following metals is not the name of a period in European history? Silver, copper, iron. Gotta know your European history for this one. Which one of these metals is not a period in European history? Three very hardcore metals, but which one hasn't had its turn in the spotlight? Proving that bribery will get you nowhere in this club, it's... Silver. Silver is what I'm looking for here. The answer to question number seven, 2,135. Have you got that correct? Well done. Named after the most popular metal of the time, the metal ages span from copper in 3200 BC to hair metal in the 80s. Question number eight. Which pastry chef invented the croissant donut hybrid? Pierre Hermé, Gaston Le Notre, Dominique Ancel. Which pastry chef invented the croissant donut hybrid? Baked up in 2013, the public are still going nuts for this hybrid creation. The French-born pastry king of New York, it's Dominique Ancel. Dominique Ancel's what I'm looking for here, and that is a savage question. Took so many of you out of the game. Only 618 of you got that correct. Well done if you knew. You know your donut croissant hybrids. Well done. Gaston Lenotre's opera cake may be delicious, but it just can't compete with Dominique's puntastic cronut. Love a cronut. Delicious. Question number nine. What did game designer Will Wright originally call The Sims? Dollhouse, Family Simulator, Sim House. Sims, we all played it. But what was the original name for it? Was it Dollhouse, Family Simulator, Sim House? The Sim City, Sim Earth, and Sim Ant Creator had a successful branding formula on the go. So obviously he went somewhere completely different, calling it Dollhouse. Dollhouse is the answer here to question number nine, 188. If you got that right, and whoa, that was another savage question straight away. Only 188 if you got that right, but well done if you knew your sim stuff. The name didn't test well with the 14-year-old boys, so Wright kept things simple with the sims. Moving on to question number 10. Which is the largest lake that is entirely in Switzerland? Lake Geneva, Lake Constance, Lake Neuchâtel. Which is the largest lake that is entirely in Switzerland? Lake Geneva, Lake Constance, Lake Neuchâtel. The smallest of these three. It holds the all-important bragging rights of being completely contained by Swiss borders. It's... Lake Neuchâtel. Lake Neuchâtel is what I'm looking for here to question number 10. 89 of you got that correct. Well done, you're hanging in there. Most of Switzerland's big bodies of water have seeped over borderlines and are in international waters now. Interesting. Question number 11. Which of these movies did not involve Oliver Stone? The Untouchables, Scarface, Midnight Express. Which of these movies did not involve Oliver Stone? The Untouchables, Scarface, Midnight Express. He's regarded as one of Hollywood's best directors, but he was only involved with the projects as a writer the film has never been touched at all by him, though. It's The Untouchables. The Untouchables is what I'm looking for here. To question number 11. 48 of you got that right. Well done. You are within touching distance now because we're moving on to the final round. This is it. The final question. We've been through 11 questions. It's the moment you've been waiting for. There's a lot at stake and you're so close to having it. 550 pounds on the line. We've got 48 gamers left in the game. You've done so well so far. Who's gonna make it to the end? It's the one. It's the only. It's question number 12. What is Sir Topham Hatt's original nickname in the Thomas the Tank Engine books? The Fat Governor, the Fat Director, the Fat Controller. 
Thomas the Tank Engine, loved it when I was a child, but what is the original name for the, for the fat director in Tank Thomas the Tank Engine? Known as the Fat Controller, in the TV series, he was called something different in the early books, Controller of the Railways, but from an extra wide seat, it's the Fat Director is what we're looking for here. And 10 of you got that right. We have 10 winners. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to all our winners. Well done. You've done so great so far. We've got Deborah Roscoe. You look very happy there. You, you're each going home with 55 pounds. Fantastic. We've got Dublin Ned to Dan. Looks like you're just a cat if you are a cat and you've won this game. That's amazing. You should be particularly proud of yourself. We've got Gaga Gage. You've also won 55 pounds. I hope you're having a great time. I'm excited to know what you're gonna do with the money. Feel free to tweet me, tell me. Are you gonna take your family out for dinner? Are you gonna get yourself something nice? Maybe go out, buy something new? This is super exciting. Congratulations to you all. JD Berg, I'm seeing you too. Well done, mate. Congratulations to all our winners. You did an amazing job. Well done. Thank you so much for playing. I hope you had fun. It's been a pleasure having you. Make sure you tune in tonight. I've got another killer game for you at 9 p.m. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. For now, it's time for me to teleport to the planet Dimidium where I'm needed for a peace treaty. Bye. <laughs>